Well, the Chiefs make it official with DeAndre Hopkins, while another wide receiver heads to the IR. Looks like Kansas City has a theme this year, fighting off injuries by replenishing their roster over and over again. We're going to bring you the latest details surrounding the reigning Super Bowl champs now. What is up, Chiefs Kingdom? Happy Thursday. I'm Haley Lewis, and this is Chiefs News Daily. Signed, sealed, delivered, ladies and gentlemen, DeAndre Hopkins is officially a Kansas City Chief. We're going to break down the move and other roster changes happening today in the Kingdom next. But first, give us a like and subscribe right here on the KCSN YouTube channel, and let's get into this one. Well, the Chiefs make things official on Thursday morning, tweeting out the addition of DeAndre Hopkins, who passed his physical and now joins the reigning Super Bowl champs. So welcome to the Kingdom, D-Hop. Hopkins leads the NFL in targets with 1,526, as well as catches 943, as well as receiving yards 12,528, and receiving first downs 652, and catches of 25 plus yards at 113 since 2013. Now he caught 75 passes for 1,057 yards and seven touchdowns last year, and today we got our first look at Hopkins in Kansas City Red, as well as the newest receiver sporting a Chiefs hat while addressing the local media. Always been a fan of Pat. Uh, stayed in, in touch with him uh, throughout his career. So, uh, you know, excited to go, go get started. Uh, one of the best to do it. I uh, was looking forward to going out there playing with him. Obviously, uh, been a fan of his, so uh, you know, can't wait. You know, obviously throughout my career, been a big fan of uh, what Andy has done, uh, going against those guys in Houston. Uh, you know, they gave us some tough battles, so I always, you know, just admired him from afar. Chris Jones is one of my buddies off the field, so him and I, of course, talked about, you know, the potential, uh, you know, if I ever got the chance being a free agent or getting traded. I've, I've been in the NFL for 12 years, so, uh, you know, I know football, so hopefully I can go out there and make some plays um, and wherever I'm fitted, wherever I'm needed. It uh, means a lot. Uh, it takes your game to a different level. Uh, it takes your your focus, your drive, uh, knowing that you're playing for something. Uh, it, it takes the game to a different level. Uh, I haven't played meaningful football in a couple years uh, since, you know, we probably started 8-0 in Arizona. Uh, so, you know, it takes the game to a different level. Now, the 32-year-old is going to wear the number 8. It was first reported by Bleacher Report's Jordan Schultz, and then Hopkins confirmed it at the podium today, saying he's wearing the number 8 and said it's all because of his favorite athlete, the late Kobe Bryant. Coach Reed also talked about the newest addition after having to dodge reporters' questions yesterday since the deal was not yet finalized quite yet. Coach Reed shared a timeline on getting Hopkins up to speed and what the veteran adds to his championship squad. Uh, well, it could be this weekend. Yeah, we'll just we'll see how, it, how he picks up. I've got to get him on practice. <laughs> but right, you know, uh, I mean... Uh, why wait, right? If, if he can handle it without putting him in a bad position. Yeah, he's a smart guy, I, and he understands football likewise. And um, Justin knows him probably better than anybody. Just haven't been with him for those years. Um, so uh, that's exciting. I mean, that's a good thing. Uh, we just we've got a lot in right now, and he, we're just trying to get him acclimated with meetings here, and we'll see uh, see how things go at practice. But you can tell he's. He's a very focused guy, and um, he's intelligent. So, you know, you start kind of from the, the bottom of just the snap count part of it, and uh, and work your way up through. But he uh, he's seen enough. You know, he's he's been around it long enough to where it's a uh, it's more a dialect than a language. So, you know, that he has to learn. He, I think, he's a, a good. Uh, He's a veteran player and seen just about everything over 12 years. So, um, and he's a good space player. So he's very good understanding how to work in space. At the same time, he's a tough matchup because of his size, arm length, um, you know, big body that knows how to kind of play that low post area very right. well. Now, listen, we we do this all, but we try to utilize their strengths and and work them in uh, to what to what we do. Um, without completely changing everything. I mean, we've got a little of everything in the in the offense, so. Uh, but he, he's he's similar in, in his in being able to, his awareness in space is Juju and, and Rasheed was developing into. So, um, and that's, you know, that's a, that's a good thing in this offense to be able to do. Now, both defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo and offensive coordinator Matt Nagy also talked about Hopkins. 
Bag shared his knowledge of facing the All-Pro while Nagy explains what he likes most about his newest weapon. Big wide receiver that has a huge catch radius, right? He catches everything. A lot of respect for him. I'm glad he's on our team now. <laughs> That's a good thing. His hands are phenomenal. He has really, really good hands. I think he's got some of the, you know, least amount of drops in the history of the NFL. But the the experience that he has, the tr which comes, I think, with that is trust. Um, and so he's played in a lot of games. He understands and he's seen a bunch of different defenses. That's valuable. Whether it's zone or man, uh, he's a very good route runner. He understands leverages. And one of the things, just getting the kind of, you, you see it on tape, you see it in interviews, but then when he's here up close and live and in person, you see the confidence and the swag that he has. And I think that confidence can really uh, penetrate and, and, and you feel that with, with the other players. Uh, you gotta go out and do it. So it's just that we're at the beginning stages, but he's really, uh, he does a lot of good things um, in zones too. Also defensive tackle Chris Jones even shared his previous conversations with D-Hop over the years. He said that he's actually been trying to convince Hopkins to come to Kansas City for a while now, and he's pumped the deal finally went through. I feel really good, you know. Um, with the acquisition of D-Hop, me and him conversed about this like two years ago. We was in Miami just talking about what it looked like, um, how successful I think he can be in this offense with Pat and the office amount it, Coach Reed, and um, we finally got him here, so I'm excited about it. What was that conversation like? Um, trying to, I guess, pitch DeAndre on the idea of, of Kansas City and on the Chiefs, and just how receptive was he? Was he back then? I guess two years ago. I mean, we both agreed that um, he'd be super successful with this um, offense. Just at the time, there was a lot of things going on, and. You know, unfortunately, we wasn't able to acquire him at the time, but you know how life works. It's a full circle, man. And, <laughs> you know, unfortunately, with injuries, um, we needed a wide receiver and full circle moment, man. We was able to begin. Hopkins has 15 catches for 173 yards so far this season for the Titans while playing through an MCL injury. You know when you discover a new binge-worthy show or a song that you bump on repeat and you have to share it with your friends so they can experience just how awesome it is? That's kind of what it feels like when you discover Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's such an awesome deal, there's no way you can keep it to yourself. Friends don't let friends overpay for wireless. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plan and switch to Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is here to rescue you and your squad with premium wireless plans starting at 15 bucks a month. To get this new customer offer and your new three-month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash KCSNCND. That's mintmobile.com slash KCSNCND. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash KCSNCND. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Well, in order to make room on the 53-man roster for Hopkins, the Chiefs have also placed another wide receiver on the injured reserve. Sky Moore now joins Hollywood Brown and Rasheed Rice on the IR after suffering a core muscle injury. The third-year receiver will have to miss at least the next four games, and he'll be eligible to return for the Chiefs on November 24th in that game against the Carolina Panthers. That is all the way in week 12. That will mark the third wide receiver on the injured reserve and four receivers currently dealing with injuries that will keep them out of Sunday's week eight game against Las Vegas Raiders. Moore has yet to record a reception so far this season after being targeted three times through six games. The former 2022 second round pick has played 82 offensive snaps and 18 special team snaps and not much to show for it. Moore caught 22 passes for 250 yards as a rookie. He also caught a touchdown pass in Kansas City's Super Bowl win over Philly in the 2022 season. And in 2023, he caught 21 passes for 244 yards and a touchdown. So the Chiefs wide receiver room now consists of Justin Watson, rookie Xavier Worthy, McCole Hardman, and now DeAndre Hopkins. Now, Juju Smith-Schuster, he's still there. He's just nursing a hamstring injury, and that's going to keep him out for at least this week. On the practice squad, Kansas City has Justin Ross, Montreal, Washington, Nico Remigio, and Cornell Powell. 
Alrighty, folks, that does it for another episode of Chiefs News Daily. As always, we will be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, like and subscribe right here on the KCSN YouTube channel. Have a great rest of your Thursday. We'll see you back here on Friday.